Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back, and we are trying out something new. I, a while ago, I did one of these robot vacuum cleaners. Now I've got a robot. This one actually has water in it, and it's used for cleaning your hardwood floors. So it's from Smart Me, and or Smart My, however you want to pronounce it. And uh, we're gonna give you a look, see at it today, see if we can't figure it out, see if we can't make it work. These things, um, when they work, they're, they're pretty cool. And the fact that this one, you put water in, and it can uh, clean your hardwood. A lot of people have hardwood floors. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's get some water in it, see if we can figure out the app, and uh, let's watch it work. All right, folks, so there's a My Home app that you gotta upload, uh, and this whole thing runs off that app. And uh, simple instructions to put together. Uh, there was a water tank in there. We're gonna show you to fill up the water tank, and then we're gonna try it out. So let's fill up the water tank. All right, so there's a cover you open up like this, and then you can see I've got water in the tank, but when you take the tank off. The tank or tank cover has been removed. So it, it's, this thing is constantly talking to you. The tank or tank cover has been reinstalled. All right, let's uh, see if that's enough to get it going. All right, so <laughs> using the app, what it's doing on this first one is it's kind of mapping itself off. And uh, you can see a little bit of shine from the water there. Uh, it's kind of figuring its area out here. And you got to play around with the app. The, the, I'll, I'll be kind of honest with you. The uh, <laughs> instructions to using the app are, it's, it's, it's kind of trial by fire. Uh, you just got to keep on pressing buttons to get the gosh darn thing to work. And, uh, but here's the deal. I was kind of able to get it to this point, so I'm feeling pretty comfortable with, right now with my ability to get this thing figured out. So it does vacuum. There is a water thing in there, and it has kind of like a wet mop. And you can see, see that it's actually working there. We're just gonna keep on playing around here and give you a couple look sees as we proceed. All right, as it makes its way into the kitchen, uh, I was trying to find out what this thing, and I, I think this is, uh, obviously they sent it to me and asked me to do a review on it, but I can't find out what they're gonna sell it for. So right now it looks like they're just booking us, but it's got all the information right in here. Um, talks about high-speed roller, waterproof. A lot of information here. Let's see if we can find something. Here's how many milliliters it holds. There's a better idea of how it works. And I can confirm it does give you spare brushes. So if you want to change out brush and wash the other one. But uh, laser navigation, and that's kind of what we're doing now is that uh, it is learning. It's learning our, our house, basically. And uh, you can set everything you want on the app. You can see mixed bristle, soft bristle, you know, a whole lot of stuff going on there. At the top there, it talked about book now i don't know book us back oh back us now i think this is a kickstarter thing and i think the kickstarter is up on it so it's loading here yeah it just talked about how much money they raised i know it's not two hundred nineteen thousand dollars. uh here four here it took us a while but what we got it's uh 439 dollars is what uh this thing is gonna go for when it's out there so it's a lot for a vacuum cleaner uh Hopefully uh, it works. I'll give you one or two more look-sees and show you how it's doing. All right, um, now it makes sense what it's doing. They went around the perimeter of the kitchen, and now it came back in, and it's just going back and forth. And uh, that makes total sense what it's doing there. Uh, there <clears throat> when it is getting low on battery, it'll tell you it's getting low on battery, and it'll go back to its charging station and it knows where it is. It'll also tell you when the water is getting low. And I'm not sure about the dirty, but we're, we're gonna let it go here and show you I don't know, how, how dirty the water is. It, it, this is kind of a rough tile in here. It, it's, it's not a tile for se, it's a man-made product, but uh, it is going over it. And you can see it is leaving some uh, water behind. So it is working, just gotta wonder how long that reservoir lasts. So. Keep on going here, give you a look, see. All right, so you can kind of, you know, I was, they show that there's supposed to be a map here. I haven't figured out how to make that work, but it shows that my battery life is down to 73%. My cleaning time, I don't know what that means. 
24 feet and clean is 20 meters squared maybe that can't be right I, I, I don't know but uh, you know you can you can pause it right here and you can send it back to the dock right there and the cleaning intensity is on standard so just kind of playing around with it you've got if you go into settings you got language you got if we go to map management and it says there's no map available yet and I think that's because it's the first cleaning and after that I think it makes a map I'm not sure but uh, whole bunch of stuff in there yeah keep on going it's pretty cool all right so it is pretty much done i'm gonna send it back to its dock and once it's back at its dock then we'll take out the uh and see how dirty the water is and it was pretty impressed uh in all i was a little confused by the time thing here but it says here it ran for 61 minutes and we still have 26% battery left. So you could feasibly get maybe an hour and a half out of this thing. Um, and like I said, it knows when, when it gets low on battery, it's gonna return automatically. Or like I said, I can press the bot button for it to go back to its dock. And uh, as you can see, it's got a weird way of getting there. Uh, as it learns our house more, I think it would uh, be better better at finding its way back back home it's, it's over there so um, I don't know should I just let you watch <laughs> on how it can't find its its way home it's confused by that chair I don't think that chair was uh, the first time it went through there to find its dock so that's why it's now it's got to find a different way home I'll show you when it gets it it'll get there eventually all right, so what I wasn't aware, it goes into somewhat of a self-cleaning type mode. I think it's cleaning the, uh, the brush in there. We'll see how long that lasts, and then we'll uh, change the water out. All right, so you can see how much water is left there. Here's your dirty water, and that comes out just like, like that. And you see all the uh, stuff it picked up? So we'll dump that out, clean that out, and we'll wash this out. There's a... Uh, a little screen, I think, in here somewhere, too. We'll wash out and rinse out. But I tell you what, did pretty good. So uh, <laughs> thumbs up, leave a comment. It's amazing I got, the, I got it to work. Uh, that, that was the biggest challenge is, is getting past all the uh, electronics and the, uh, and the app and figuring the app out. The, the product itself figured itself out pretty decently. So um, like I said, Tom Horseman, YouTube, thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.